Alright, so the split lamp exam. Um, typically most primary care offices and most inpatient floors don't have a slit lamp. Um, if you are in the emergency room, um, most emergency rooms do have some sort of slit lamp um, that you can use to take a look at, at the eyes. Now the most important thing about a slit lamp exam is to be systematic about it. Um, I prefer, oops, sorry about that. I prefer to go basically from front to back or from outside in. Um, so you look at all of those things systematically and so that way you don't miss anything. So you start with lids and lashes, um, which will be pretty much the same thing as your external exam. Um, only maybe a little bit more magnified, you might get a better idea of what's going on um, right at the lash margin through the slit lamp just because you know, you'll be able to see it better. And the next thing in is going to be your sclera and conjunctiva. Um, is the sclera red or injected? Where is it uh, red or injected? Is there chemosis? Are there spots or masses? Um, if so, what size are they? Where are they located? So for example, on this side right here, you'll see there's a little bit of some subconjunctival hemorrhage. You could describe it as being um, at the limbal edge, um, reaching from about uh, 3 o'clock to about 5 o'clock. Um, uh, so that's, you know, whenever you're describing eye pathology, it's always nice to use clock hours because that way you can say, you know, 12 o'clock versus 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Um, so here's chemosis, or sort of that swelling of the conjunctiva. Um, you can say this person has chemosis that reaches from 3 o'clock um, all the way to 9 o'clock, sort of on the inferior portion of the sclera. Okay, so the next thing that you might look at is the cornea. Cornea should be clear. Um, a good way to check that is see how nice and crisp the edge um, on this light reflex is. A nice hydrated clear cornea will have a nice crisp edge. Uh, meanwhile, cornea that's a little hazier might have some edema. The, right fl the light reflex is a little bit blurry around the edges, so that's one way you can tell. Um, other things you can see on the cornea, you might see some white around the edges. This is called arcus. Um, arcus is actually something that um, occurs as we age. Most people by their 60s, 70s typically start developing arcus. Um, it's actually little deposits of cholesterol within the cornea, um, right at the limbal edge there. You might actually see arcus in a younger person if they have a condition like uh, familial hypercholesterolemia. Um, and here, right here, you see what is a Kaiser Fleischer, Kaiser Fleischer ring, um, which is sort of a, a sign for uh, Wilson's disease, uh, which is a deposition of the copper in the cornea right there. So those are sort of things that you can see on exam on the cornea. The next thing is the anterior chamber. So normally the anterior chamber um, is filled with aqueous humor that bathes the cornea, keeps it nourished. Um, but sometimes with infection or with trauma, you can get either blood or pus in your anterior chamber, and this is called a hyphema. And this right over here is called a hypopian. All right, the next thing back in our travels from the outside to in is the iris, which is the colored part of the eye. And you can just look at the colored part and say, are there any hematomas um, or like little nodules? Um, are there tears? Are there surgical holes? Um, you know, those are all sorts of things you can look for when you're looking at an iris. And then last but not least, and sort of the most interior structure that you're able to look at with a slit lamp is the lens. So as you can see, here's a photograph of the eye. Here is the slit lamp beam reflecting off the cornea. And then here you see the beam reflecting off of the iris, here and here. And then right back here is the lens. You can see the beam now reflecting off the front of the lens. And you see right back here, it's a little bit brown looking um, and yellowed looking. And that's sort of an early cataract starting to form. Um, the lens is sort of becoming discolored. Um, and the patient might complain that, you know, white stuff just doesn't look quite as white anymore. You know, everything looks kind of brownish to them. And that's because of this yellowing of the lens. And then over here you see a pretty mature cataract. You can see it's like pretty much almost opaque white. Um, the chances that a person would be able to see through that thick of a lens um, is pretty slim to none. I'm pretty sure this person's vision is pretty poor. Um, luckily, cataract surgery can clear that right up and give them almost perfect vision again. Okay, well that's it um, for the eye exam. I hope that was helpful. Um, obviously, you will not be able to do every one of those um, portions of the eye exam. Um, 
However, I think it would, uh, hopefully it gives you a good idea of what um, you might try to look for and how you might try to describe some of the things that you find. Thanks a lot for listening.